Hey guys, this is Starcast TV and I'm Lego Man and I'm back again with another professional game between Snow and Rush. The map is at good night as you can see. To start off, the spawning location at the top left. This is our Red Terran Rush. And the spawning location at the bottom left. This is our yellow Protoss Snow. Both players spawned at the left side instead of the right side. And that this map, the right side definitely mines better than the left side. And no crazy thing is happening yet. Pylon on his main base. Supply depot getting constructed at the 55 seconds mark. I think it was 55. Usually it gets built like at 53 or 54 when you're on the right side. If you just do that mineral optimization very well. Gateway starting. So it's not a fast nexus expansion. And Snow is actually doing that gateway scout. Sending out his scouting probe after constructing the gateway. So we'll have to see if Snow is actually going to use some zealots. Or lazy lots. Usually, you want to use some. You want to do that zealot push if you're gonna do a gateway scout because sending out this a scout very early is a huge a loss of minerals, loss of mining time. Ooh, and this is pretty interesting because usually, if you want to do that gateway opener, you want to start your assimilator after making your zealot, after and after making your uh, building your second pylon. But Snow has actually built his assimilator pretty fast. So let's see what Snow's build will be. Okay, his assimilator did finish, did just got finished, but he still doesn't have the that 200 minerals to start off his Cyber and his core. So as you can see, Snow is just mining with two probes. Okay, Cyber and his core now is getting started. So moving out. The scouting probe actually failed the scout twice, so now it will be a last scout on the Terran base. And this SCV also spotted that the probe is right here, so... Frush will actually now send his sc uh, scouting SCV to the di diagonally, because uh, he, he just wants to be aware if this is a fast nexus build. And now... Because Rush has spotted this first slot already on his main base, he will know that this is not a fast Nexus expansion. He will send his Marines right in between the barracks and command center. Okay, this single Marine did get two shot by the Zealot, so it's now dangerously low. But this Zealot actually lost some health and all of the shield. The snow won't overcommit. Snow actually has a Dragoon production on the way. He didn't make a second Zealot. Showing some good probe micro. This SCV is already half low. And this SCV will spot the Nexus. And let's see if this SCV can actually make out a life from the Dragoon. I don't think so because the Dragoon is already chasing the SCV. Yep, okay, now get cleared. So now Rush has a... Uh, he actually doesn't have a vulture out. He instead of making a vulture, he actually get got that add-on machine shop. So he will start his vulture after the machine shop got finished and starting his spider mind research. And I think Russia is playing like this because this this is a high ground, and if you have four marines and a single SCV on the high ground, it will be able to deal against this dragoon and Zod. Yep, they can. So Rush is actually not making a bunker. He's, he's not constructing a bunker. And he's actually he has actually per defended against this single Dragoon and single Zola perfectly. And there's a Vulture outside, outside on the map already. So now Snow has to place his Dragoons uh, defensively. As a robotics facility finished. I think this, was, this robotics facility was built on... Built on the 4 minute mark, so 
So this is a four minute robotics facility, the standard robotics facility timing. And Spider-Man research already finished, already completed. It get finished around the five minute mark. Yeah, Spider-Man research gets finished uh, around the five minute mark. So rush the two vultures. He has placed all the spider mines. Unfortunately, uh, the single dragoon did take out that single spider mine. So there are now five spider mines out on the map. Spider mines actually placed on very, very good, nice locations so that the dragoons can't move out. So now Snow has to wait for his single first observer to move out with these dragoons. And this vulture was actually just uh, moving out around the map to spot to look for any very, very sneaky stuff. Three vultures on the map, single tank, armory, plus one started, and Rush is, is actually going, has actually gone for that eBay armory build. This is actually Rush's almost trademark build versus Protoss. Instead of going for that armory academy, he always go. He most likely go for, goes for that armory eBay because he wants to keep producing, constantly produce his SCV. And because Rush has actually spotted that first observer, he canceled two missile turrets. Because he knows that there are no shuttle reavers outside of the map. Very nice decision by Rush. In siege mode, research already finished. And starting that, starting that uh, three factories. I'm pretty sure Rush will now start his academy after building that three factories. Building those three factories. Let's see where the academy is. Yeah, the academy is right here. And because the plus one is almost uh, half away, not half, almost, not almost, uh, already passing half he will start his starport yep starport right here to be honest the starport is kind of late because his plus one is, is already on 70 percent but the starport just got started usually you want to start your starport when the plus one is on the half to start your plus two right away but i don't think it really matters because rush is actually really really greedy not greedy really really wealthy right now he has a lot of scvs as you can see the scv count is the same as the probe count and that is actually that is actually a very very good sign versus protoss the supply count is even pretty even and, and, and rush is actually leading the supply count so this means that rush is very very look, looking very very good on this game so on, on this three factories he will just constantly produce a single tank two vultures and stay on this single add-on because he needs that gas to start his second armory in his two plus two and one. And I've been showing uh, Rush's base a lot, so now we'll look at Snow's main base. Arbiter Tribuner finished. Third Nexus finished, and Rush will now send his probes. Four gateways, six gateways. And Snow is actually not producing too many too much army because he knows that this is a standard 2-1 upgrade uh, upgrade Terran so you don't need you don't want to have too many too, too many uh, units instead of focusing on too many units you want to just kind of tech up and build a fourth nexus start your fourth nexus and do something else but uh it actually it actually kind of differentiates between pl Protoss players. Some Protoss players wants to have want to have a lot of units to just to kind of just stop the third base. Some Protoss players stop on their unit production and they, they just tech up, get more infrastructure. And Snow is actually has not gone for Reavers. He has two Dark Templars to just kind of be annoying. Yeah, they're just being annoying. Taking off that scan. Scan energy. Because he's going for that Arbiter. And two Dragoons here to just kind of... Take down these Spider Mines to take his fourth base. And Rush... 
He has his storage command center almost finished. Two DTs doing some work. Just being annoying. And because Snow has actually gone has actually gone for that Arbiter, we really can't stop this Terran take the third base. So Rush will have He won't have a hard time taking his third base. We'll just lift off his command center and take his third base right away. But the thing is, this third base only has three, six middle fields, so Rush has to take the, his fourth base, which has some more middle fields and a single gas. So this this game will look like a pretty long game, I think. The supply looks pretty good for Snow. I'm not sure why uh, Rush's supply is has kind of stopped now but um the thing is rush now has seven factories no six factories yeah six factories so now supply as long as rush just not produces non-stop he will have almost even supply as snow but this dt is still being very annoying just taking out that scan of energy Arbiter moving into Terran's natural. It doesn't have that stasis field yet. So I don't think Snow should really overcommit. He just needs to wait until he has 100 energy. Snow not committing yet. Sending his observer to see what uh, Rush has on his third base, and because Rush is a uh, Snow is actually doesn't have any Zillas, only two Zillas, uh, he will not commit onto this high ground. Rush mass producing from his six factories. I think Rush can just go for that seven factory. Rush still not starting his fourth command center yet. He will be starting his 4th command center soon. Snow is actually doing a very very nice job placing his Dragoons right here just kind of pressuring the Terran and while he's pressuring the Terran he has actually taken his 5th Nexus. Pros mining the 4th base. Some more Dragoons a lot moving out. 2nd Arbiter. And Snow has actually forgot to, st to start his third out Arbiter. When you're doing that Arbiter play, you always want to just produce your Arbiter non-stop. And Snow has actually forgot about his Arbiter for a while. Oh, the reason why he forgot about the Arbiter is because he is actually sent a recall. But I think this recall is a very, very failed recall. Oh. Snow has actually lost a lot of Dragoons without doing much. It only killed off like some some vultures and a single siege tank. So this was very very worth by Rush. And now because Rush has actually defended that recall very very well, uh, Rush can make a choice now. He can just spend all of his resources onto his army, his fa additional factories. Or he can spend a 400 minerals on make, on building that fourth command center on like right right on top of here. Uh, let's see if this is actually this is actually a command center. I'm pretty sure this is a command center. Yep, it is. So because he has built his command center here, I I am assuming that he will lift off his command center and land it right here while Rush moves out through the here, so he can attack while he expands. But uh, to be honest, I think Rush can just take this base because this base is a high ground base and you can just place your siege tanks right here and here and place some, and place some spider mines here and here to defend your fourth base. But I guess Rush wants to take his fourth base while he attacks to, through the Protoss natural. Yeah, so we'll have to see where this command center will head to. And Rush now has 170 supply, so he will now start to unseat his siege tanks and start to just kind of move out. And these supply depots are, to be honest, are kind of blocking the way. Plus, a plus 3-2 is already 80%. And Ru Rush will now have 
to move up this high ground and Snow will not let Lush move up to this high ground. He has sent all of his army to this high ground. Okay, there's a high Templar here, but I don't think it's not the Science Storm research is done yet, so this high Templar is just waiting here. Snow already used up a single stasis field on this high ground. So now he only has a uh, he only has two arbiters with almost two stasis fields. Ooh, Rush doing a nice snipe on that High Templar, which had two side stones, and an EMP landed on a single Arbiter. And this Arbiter still doesn't have the stasis field, and these of us are actually doing some nice job getting on those on top of those siege tanks. And those lots did kill some siege tanks. Fifth base mining. The sixth Nexus Nexus will start soon. He already has hundreds. Uh, 1100 minerals. Almost all of the gateways producing gateway units. And now Rush has successfully taken this fourth base. So the game is already looking pre pre pretty good for Rush now. So Rush has made, made the decision to just defend this this area with missile, ter missile terrorists from Arbiter Recalls and all Rush has to do is just place some spider mines, place some siege tanks siege tanks here, the spider mines here, the spider mines here, and some siege tanks to defend this wide wide area so now we'll have to see what Snow will do against this plus 3-2 army will he take, yeah he will take this nexus here and here and build a lot more gateways, mass gateways mass gateways here and here so that he, Snow will just allow four expansions, three expansions now, three expansions, and with mass gateways from here and here, he won't let Rush take more additional expansions like from here or here. Snow lacking some supply, but that's because Snow didn't lose, uh, use all of his resources onto army. Ooh, Rush actually moving out some with his vultures to snipe off some probes. Nice job. Ooh, this expansion is actually empty. It only has two photon cannons, and two photon cannons to be honest, are not enough against plus two, plus three, two upgraded vultures. I think Snow should really just uh, block this, uh, block this ramp with some pylons, or build some more photon cannons. But instead, he is not building a photon cannon. He's just producing a lot more probes. And there are more vultures out on the map, and this is all because Rush is mining on four bases. He does have a lot of minerals. He is abundant on minerals, so he can just use a lot of vultures as as, as much as he wants. Two thoughts: blocking the ramp until the photon cannons get finished. But the photon cannons are not don't get finished, and these vultures will destroy the photon cannon, and these vultures won't allow this. Uh, starting point nexus, starting point expansion, spawning point. So now, uh, Snow has to commit on something. He either has to defend these vultures with his army, or use up all of his energy, these two arbiters, to just kind of penetrate to the, through this army, Terran army, and attack into the fourth base he has to kill all of the siege tanks all of the destroy all of the buildings here and just lift off this fourth base but uh, to be honest i don't think that's that looks easy because it's a high ground and three two is finished and plus three is not on the way but i'm pretty sure rush will start his plus three armor upgrade these vultures actually destroyed the nexus Oh, and look at the siege tank count. Okay, Snow does have a lot of expansions and a lot of gateways here. Not not enough, but still some gateways here. Even though he, ha he has a lot of army and a lot of gateways, a lot of expansions, eventually he has to deal against this these mass siege tanks. Because if, if he is not able to deal against these mass siege tanks, these mass siege tanks will destroy all of Snow's expansions. 
Okay, there are three probes right here. He does have to pay attention on those three probes. And four probes. Oh, five, six probes. Five probes. So there are in total, like, what? Like, 12 probes not mining. Ooh, and Snow has actually lost a lot of army here. Snow really just has nothing to deal against these mass siege tanks. Okay, there is a Arbiter with full energy. It has to... Okay, two stasis fuels landed. But where are Snow's army? Okay, Snow's army is, is here. They are they are coming from the gateways. Some side storms landed on those siege tanks. Snow does have 170 supply, but I don't think this, ar this army looks like 170 supply because there are just too many idle probes. And 75 probes is, to be honest, not too much, but... Snow just needs more army. And once these siege tanks is, are now get unstasis, Rush has like what? Like more than two groups of siege tanks. And Snow losing all the gateways here by vultures. Snow sending all of his probes in this mineral expansion to either this expansion, I guess. Yeah, to this expansion. So Snow now has committed that he can just give away this expansion because this expansion already is uh, my, almost mined. The thing is, while Rush is taking down Snow's army, Snow's expansions, a simple expansion, Snow is not taking. Snow is not doing us anything to take down this fifth expansion. I mean, he he lost all of his gateways on on this spawning point, so he doesn't have any army to take this fifth expansion uh, to take to take down this Terran's fifth expansion. There are some dragoons, but these dragoons are not enough. He needs more zealots, more more arbiters, or more high templars to take this fifth expansion of the Terran. And look at the supply count of the Terran. The Terran already is on a ready max supply okay so now rush tried to spread his tanks to take that on this expansion but i guess that was kind of a greedy move by rush he ended up losing some tanks and rush and snow is still not mining this expansion he's only mining four minerals on this expansion so this is a huge loss snow has to pay attention on that expansion eventually uh, instead, he is just moving upwards with this small little army. Okay, this Arbiter did use the stasis field, but I don't think that stasis field really matters because when, when you use a stasis field, you always want to do something with your army, but Snow is just losing his army even <coughs> after using a stasis field. So I'm not sure if this little army can defend against this mass siege tank and vulture. Is Snow allows Rush's army to just rush into here and siege up on this area. All of all of Snow's army will get blocked by these siege tanks. And once once Protoss's army is blocked by these siege tanks, I, I'm not I, I have no idea how Snow can just, Snow can get back on the game. Okay, yeah, this this is what I wanted to say. If Snow wants to get back on the game, he has to utilize Arbiter Recalls to just kind of penetrate these Terran's expansions, Terran's weaknesses. This expansion, uh, some missile turrets are lacking on this area, so if Snow can just move up his Arbiter into here, into here, and just land right on top of here, with which has no spider mines, I think Snow can somehow get up back on the game, but Snow does, still doesn't have a Arbiter out on the map. Okay, this is a shuttle, and I don't see any additional Arbiters. Okay, this is there's an Arbiter here, but it doesn't have any energy for recall. Okay, it's taking down some siege tanks, but this is not what is important. Snow has to take on this army to protect this expansion, and Snow has actually moved up to the center of the map to stop this expansion, but. It wasn't able to. There are just too many, too much Terran forces on the center of the map, and a single DT and some shells in the shuttle 
fail to take down on these siege tanks and vultures and, and these siege tanks are now just destroying everything on this base and because snow's gateway units are just trapped by these four siege tanks and two vultures which is which doesn't look like a huge army snow's army just can't get out on the map and while snow's army can't get out on the maps rush can just take the expansions freely I think Rush should just uh, clear up this, these three Dragoons in a single High Templar to take to, uh, to retake his 12 o'clock expansion. But, uh, I think Rush is just really busy. Yeah, he has lots, lots of things to do. And that thing is to take on Snow's 6 o'clock base, which is his last base mining. I mean, not last base, his second last base mining. And if Snow loses this base, it will be a two base mining Terran against a single base my name Prodos so Snow has to protect this base no matter what no matter how much it costs and instead of taking instead of protecting this base Snow is actually committed on doing a recall and somehow the recall did land successfully without losing too many units on those spider mines so it did lift off his command center but it will eventually Snow's army will eventually get taken down by those spider mines and now Rush doesn't have to care about this. Rush can just send all of the all of his units, all of his rally units to Snow's last spawning point expansion. And there are a lot of dragoons and zealots on, on the high ground and I think Snow actually forgot about this forgot about this army on top of this spawning location. He has to use all of his armies to not let the Terran army come up this high ground. To be honest, Rush doesn't even need to come up this high ground. He can just take more command centers. What? What is this recall? What an insane recall. <coughs> I think Snow has has thought that he defending this base with his army is pointless. He has done a recall outside on the map to take uh, down on this to take down this central expansion. But I'm not sure if it can because all of Russia's forces have now retreated to protect the central base, center base, and there are some turn army. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Rush doesn't have any vultures. There are a lot of dragoons on the high ground. At high ground, dragoons are really, really strong against siege tanks. Okay, they are strong against siege tanks, but the street tanks are stronger than high, dra high ground dragoons. And look at Snow. Oh, look at Snow's supply count. It's so now 76 into a double supply count, Terran. And Snow has actually lost all of it. Snow's army, and because Snow has lost all of his army, I, I think it's a GG. Even though Snake ta Snow takes down these Terran army, Snow is only mining on a single base. He needs to re reconstruct the Nexus and a pylon and a photon cannons, but he doesn't have enough money, so he taps out. There's GG. And that was another excellent game by Rush, showing us that perfect, perfect upgrade Terran play on a map Good Night, which is a pretty hard map because your third base is, is only three, six mineral, field, mineral fields. No Vespin gas. Rush was able to take his fourth base smoothly without losing too many units. And after taking that fourth base, he was able to max up his supply. And after he got max supply, he was able to just move out and destroy most of Snow's bases. And that was a very excellent play by Rush. And I'll be back with another professional game. Bye bye.